Welcome to my channel, The Binge Eating Therapist. I'm Sarah, former binge eater turned psychotherapist. Before I recorded this video, I searched the words, I can't accept my body into YouTube. And what came up was page after page of videos from ostensibly white cis females in small bodies talking about how they finally managed to accept their body. So let's first address that, that I am a white cis female in a straight size body, talking about body acceptance, except that I'm not. I am here to say you don't have to accept your body. I want to offer you an alternative. And it's not weight neutrality, it's something different. The challenge is, if you're someone who struggles with binge eating and compulsive eating, is that you may be quite aware that not liking your body, hating your body, battling with your body, leads to this desire to change it. You want to feel better in your body, so the answer seems to be change your body and you'll feel better. But when you try to change your body, what you're doing is trying to control and reduce how much food you eat, maybe do more exercise, maybe using other ways of compensating for what you've eaten, and then that triggers off more compulsive eating and more binge eating. So it's this self-defeating cycle. So a lot of the binge eating treatment plans are all about making peace with your body, body acceptance, letting go of weight loss. And that just might feel impossible. If this is you, you probably feel stuck between a rock and a hard place. It's like if you pursue weight loss, you binge. If you don't pursue weight loss, you're in a body that feels unbearable to you. The concept that I want to introduce to you is something that I'm calling body allowance. So this is not about accepting your body. This is simply, is your body allowed to exist? today in its current form because it is existing in its current form acceptance often seems to imply to people that you're supposed to feel okay in your body and acceptance often feels like nothing is ever going to change but body allowance is about am i allowed to take up space being allowed to wear clothes that are comfortable to do the things you've always wanted to do that your body is allowed to feel pleasure and enjoyment in things if there are things that you are holding off doing until your body changes that you could be doing now body allowances can you allow your body to do that now would you ever say to somebody of a similar body size and shape to yours that their body wasn't allowed to exist as it was so why would we say that to ourselves it doesn't have to be body acceptance I mean, that might be a worthwhile goal to get to, but if you are in a place where you are feeling so uncomfortable in your body, that body acceptance can feel like a million miles away. That said, when we're in constant war and conflict with our bodies, that is always going to screw up the way that we are relating to food and movement, which in turn is going to lead to disordered eating. The eighth principle of intuitive eating rarely gets a mention. Do you know what it is? It's respect your body. And my podcast co-host, Stephanie Michelle, she talks about how had she not done some work on her body and getting out of this conflicted place with her body, none of the work she did afterwards around food would have worked. It wouldn't have been possible. Because when you hate your body so much, all the stuff around making peace with food, being more embodied, being connected to your eating, rejecting diet culture, finding nourishing, satisfying ways to eat, all of that won't be possible. But you don't have to say, I accept my body, I love my body. It's just about getting out of the fight. At the time when this video goes up, I will be three days away from traveling to India to do my yoga teacher training. And I have been, yes, even me, I have been at war with my body for weeks about this. Because I signed up for it a couple of months ago and of course my plan was I wanted to build up stamina and flexibility ready for this training. And my body has just, it broke <laughs> like seven days after I signed up to the yoga training back in May. My body just seemed to break and go no, I got wrist pain. I've had chronic back pain for about seven weeks which has made even gentle yoga difficult. When I go online and I look at this yoga school and I see the photos of all the people who've gone through the training before, these are all people in bodies smaller than mine. I was looking for a body of a similar size or bigger than mine and I couldn't see it. And I've been on yoga retreats before <laughs> and always been the biggest bodied person there. So this feels incredibly vulnerable for me to turn up 
for this yoga training, having not prepared my body physically as well as I would have liked to. I'm still dealing with pain, which means I don't think I'm going to be able to keep up with what everybody else is doing. I'm expecting to be in a room with smaller body people and that's bringing up some feelings for me. And I draw on this concept of body allowance that I'm still allowed to go and show up as I am. And if it means that other people and other bodies can do things there that mine can't, I'm still allowed to be there. But I haven't been great at accepting the limitation of my body the last couple of months. It's been tough. And I don't know that I'm not gonna go and be in a place where I can't do as much as I'm supposed to do in order to get my qualification. So there's still like a bit of a risk. And the risk is hinged on my body, which for me with my history, ah, is really uncomfortable. So what is the stuff that you are stopping yourself from doing? Because you won't allow your body to show up until it either looks like this or can function like this. And of course, there may be things that aren't actually possible for your body at this moment. But where are you mentally holding yourself back? Where are you when thening yourself? So when my body's like this, then I'll do that thing. For some people, it is dating. For some people, it is an activity. For some people, it's just buying certain clothes. And I just want to end just by reiterating. I'm even going to come closer. Your body is allowed to be as it is today. I know it's not as you want it to be. And that's okay as well. Like you're human. You're in a world where you're getting these messages from all over the place about how your body should be. But your body is still allowed to be here. However it looks, however it feels, whatever your health is like, you are allowed to take up space in this world. Thank you for watching. Come see me in Dublin in September. If you're in Ireland or fancy a trip to Ireland, I'll pop some details below. Anyway, see you on the next video.